Hello everyone, Tucker here at Bioware Follower, and Bioware just announced their new IP, alongside a very short trailer for it. Now let's quickly talk about what we just saw. Now first off, Dylan now has an actual name, and it is Anthem. Now what we got was a very short teaser trailer, about 30 seconds, but there was a lot in that short time. The first thing is that this is made in the Frostbite engine. Other games that were made in that are Mass Effect Andromeda, Dragon Age Inquisition, as well as some other non-Bioware games like Battlefield 1 and Battlefront. So with those games as an example, you can kind of take a guess at what the environment and everything is going to look like. Now the first thing that we see in the trailer is a wall, and that wall looks like it has taken some damage. There are scratches all up and down it. Now in the background, there is also a structure that, as well, it looks like it took some heavy damage, and it must have been from some time ago, as it looks like there are plants that have started growing on it. And then in the far back of this image, we see some snowy mountains. Now the person speaking talks about how the wall is their armor, and it is what protects them from what is outside. Now the next shot we're presuming is a hub area characters that you can interact with, and what looks like little shops that you'll be able to get items from that you'll need when you go out beyond the wall. From the looks of it, everything looks slightly futuristic as well as the rest of the trailer, in that it looks like it's taking place in the future, but not too far out there. This is just purely speculation on my end, but it looks like it could take place about 30-ish years in the future, and something went very wrong, and now we have to essentially survive in this new area. Now, I don't know if this is planet Earth, and I don't think that it is, but we will learn more soon. Now, the next shot is of the outside, where we see a very intimidating creature on the right of the screen. Their narrator says that the wall protects them from what is outside, and from the looks of that creature, I would want to be protected from it too. But let us know in the comments down below what kind of bear you think this one is. So, the area we are looking at doesn't look to be the same as the first shot, as we can't see a wall and there are no snowy mountains nearby. Again, we can see some destroyed structures in the background and we can see one very up close, but we can't really tell exactly what they were used for, but they do keep popping up, so we're probably going to learn something more later on. Now the next shot is pretty dark, but if you time it right, you can get a brief image of lightning striking which lights up the scene. However, it is still kind of difficult to see exactly what's going on with everything in the area. We have what looks like a destroyed building in the back and a path leading up to it. This might be an area that the player can explore, but again, we don't really know much about it. Now close on the left side, we can see some big building debris, but what is interesting is what is on the right. Now, this is a wild guess, but it might be a vehicle that the players can use to explore around the area, or at least a part of it. Kind of looks like it could be a speeder, similar to what is in Star Wars, or maybe like a sparrow, like in Destiny. Or it could simply be more debris. Again, this is all speculation. Although it is very likely that we will get something to move around in the game and not only have to rely on our legs. Now the last thing I want to note about this scene is that it is stormy and dark, and it would be great if this is something that could just happen in the game. That if the game had a weather system and a day and night cycle. Now the next few scenes, the narrator says that you live with the choices you make or you die trying to fix them. With this being a Bioware game, I am sure that there are going to be numerous choices that you'll be making and regretting a few of them. Now the scene is of a suit that we are guessing your character will be wearing when outside the wall. Not sure how the suit will affect character customization, but I am sure that you will not be required to wear that suit while inside the hubs. You can also see a character on the left working on their suit. Now taking a bit of a step away from the trailer, there's also an image from their YouTube channel and Twitter page, which both of them will be linked in the description down below. And this image shows off different suits from behind. Giving a guess is that the one on the far left is the heavy one, the one that can take more damage than the others but is slower. Now the two middle ones are similar to the one shown in the trailer, and that probably is the basic one, with moderate health and speed. And then finally the one on the right side is probably the stealth one I'm guessing. It looks like it is light and fast but can't take much damage. And it also looks like the one on the right is not using a jetpack while the other three are, but instead something else is happening at its feet. 
Now, I don't think that this game is going to have biotic jump, so whatever is happening there is still unknown. Now, the last thing about this image before we get back to the video is the huge landscape that the characters are jumping into. You can see part of the wall on the bottom left, as well as what looks like lava on the bottom right or that just may be part of the particle effect of the character on the right side. And then the majority of the image is filled with lush and dense trees, as well as some bodies of water, and finally in the distance, a kind of weird looking mountaintop. Now going back to the trailer, we see the mech suit opening up and going to be honest, it does kind of look comfy. Now the final shot of the trailer portion pans out and we see the suit looking badass and menacing, while two people are working on their suits on both sides. Now this room could possibly be where you go to customize and repair your suit. I'm guessing that you will have a lot of customization when it comes to your suit and this will probably be the area that you go to to do so. Now the trailer ends with the title of it being shown, again looking very cool. And we are told that we'll get another trailer and more information tomorrow and you know that we'll be covering that here on Bioware Follower. So make sure you subscribe to get the news and breakdowns of everything to come. So what do you think about this trailer? Anything that we missed that you want to point out? Let us know in the comments down below and while you are there, give this video a like and as I said before, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.